Now, you've heard of a match made in heaven. Yes. Yeah. Now, Ben Templesmith and Ben McCool mm -hmm. are a match made in hell. <laughs> <laughs> but in the best possible way. These guys were meant to make a story together, True. and that story is Choker. Now, we are looking at Volume 1. Yes. Now, m many of you will know Temple Smith's work from 30 Days of Night, yep. and so you'll be kind of familiar with his art style, the exaggerated bodies, the chaotic backgrounds, mm. the carnage. Seemingly so endless carnage. So much carnage. carnage. Yeah. And Choker certainly does not disappoint on any of those it counts. certainly does no. not. I am really jazzed about this book. I mean, it focuses on Johnny Jackson, mm -hmm. who is an ex-cop turned PI, uh, who lives in uh, this semi-futuristic dystopian nightmare <laughs> called Shotgun City. It is pretty Now, weird. he smokes too much, yep. he drinks too much, and he has a super strong left hand that has a mind of its own. He does. It's like McCool's been reading my wish list. <laughs> See, all of that sounds so cool. Yeah. It's There's very little to actually criticise about this book. It's true. And yet... And, 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 yet, and yet what? It is awesome! <laughs> what are you talking? What? Um, and, what? and yet, calm down, I couldn't get into it. Oh. Throughout reading this, I just felt really distanced from it. The world that Jackson lives in is so beautifully drawn and chaotic, but I just couldn't sink into it. I just felt away. Okay, well look, I mean, I will say it takes a while to acclimatise. The, the more bizarre aspects of Shotgun mm. City, they kind of caught me off guard to start with as well, but once the story kicks in, and Incidentally, <laughs> this is a story that features vampire cannibal junkies fighting roided up super cops. Yeah. Hello. I know. I, I couldn't put this one down. Yeah, whereas I found myself constantly drifting away and <sighs> daydreaming about something else. And believe me, I have bashed my head against a wall trying to work out what it was that, that just didn't is, grab me. Is that what you were doing? I saw yeah. you, you were... I have a headache you like a from it. budgie. I know, yeah. but, but I don't know. it didn't help. It didn't help. Maybe mm. it's the fact that there's only two female characters and they're both nut jobs. They are. Maybe yeah. it's the fact that Temple Smith's backgrounds are so chaotic and imprecise that I had no sense of place. Maybe it was because there were just too many decapitations and no, no. Nah, that's not Come it. On, that's that awesome. can't be it. No. But I don't well maybe I was in the wrong headspace when I read this. I I seriously have no idea. Okay, but from the sound of things you are going to allow that this is a very impressive piece of work. Absolutely yeah. I will. It's just one of those things that I I don't know, I just couldn't get into it. Mm. I will pick it up again and I'll read it next week maybe, yeah. but I'm going to give this one a borrow. It is a good book, but uh, I just I have okay. nothing. Okay, well, you know what? This is this is a massive buy from me. <laughs> Don't, this is a massive buy, people. Look, I love crime noir. Yeah, you Th That's do. one of my favourite areas of comic fiction. So when you layer on top of that Temple Smith's anarchic visual brilliance and McCool's dark, twisted storytelling... I know. I could have a new favourite on the list here. This, this is a massive buy from me. It's Go out and get it. It's brilliant. I just... I don't know. It's... I have to read it again. Yeah, read it right now. Oh! I'll bang your head off a wall. <laughs> Maybe the threats of violence aren't the best way to go. <laughs>